Hello, baseball fans and out of the park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game from my 1994 White Sox playthrough, although we are in the out of the park 95 for the out of the park purposes, for the game purposes, we're in 1995. But we started in 94, and I won, no, I did not win the World Series. I won the American League with the White Sox in 1994. And then we lost to the Astros in the World Series. In seven games, no less. So, uh, let, you know, let's, in, let's do a little recap of that. We'll go to the manager's office and look at the history and you can see right there, let me move myself down here. So you can see right there, uh, the first year, 1994, we were 89 and 73 and lost the World Series four games to three. This year, we are 62 and 56 and not doing well. Let me take a look at the Major League Baseball standings as they currently are. I'll move myself up here a little bit so you can see some of the National League, but we're not really that concerned with the National League since the White Sox are not in the National League. And in 1994, we did not play National League teams, I don't think. So, yeah. So, anyway, we are, as you can see, we are in third place in the AL Central, 13 games out at 62-56. and 56. So, um, yeah, not good. And right now we are going to be playing the Angels. We're playing the California Angels. As you can see, they are 52 and 68. But they're in second place, only seven games out, because this entire division is terrible. The uh, Rangers are leading their division at 58 and 60. So let's get on with the game. And uh, you can see, let's... Make myself a little smaller here and put myself here for the moment. So, yeah, here's the matchup. You got the lineups for California. It's going to be um, Martinez in center, Jimmy Edmonds in right, uh, Sorrento, Paul Sorrento will be at first base, uh, Chili Davis in left, Sandy Alomar Jr. at catcher, Chad Curtis at DH. Uh, Gary DeSarcina will be the shortstop, Maldonado at second, and Landon at third base. I don't know who Landon is. And the pitcher is going to be Brian Anderson. So for our White Sox, you've got Lance Johnson in center, Maloney at second, Frank Thomas, Big Frank, the Big Hurt at DH, Franco at first base, Ventura at third, Jackson in right. Nunnally is going to be the left fielder. Nunnally having a pretty good year for us, hitting 275. Felix Fermin, or at least hitting, um, yeah. Um, Felix Fermin at shortstop and Carco Weiss at catcher. He sat out the last game. I played the last game and uh, I played his replacement, his backup. Um, Try to give him a little rest. So actually, I think I'll do that again. Um, we will um, we will take Karkovice out and we'll put in Jim Weaver for the second consecutive game at catcher. Of course, Jim Weaver cold, but you know, I mean, he's hitting 103, so that's as cold as it gets. And uh, with that, we are going to launch the game. And I've got it on GameCast, and I will make myself a little bigger here since we have the GameCast thing going on. And, uh, yeah, and we will we'll get started here. I don't think we're missing anything valuable. So uh, we are going to – we've got pitching today is Jason Raspberry Beret is on the mound for us, and he's going to start off – pitching against Ramon Martinez of California. And they do their usual introductions. 
And Beret getting ready. And that is going to be, what is that? All right, so that's an out, one down quickly. And uh, the batter is, as you can see down here, it's Jim Edmonds, Jimmy Edmonds. There's our defense right there. And uh, one down with Edmonds aboard. Edmonds, you know, he got on a lot in the last game, too. Edmonds is the, like their big man. What happened there? Oh, it was a home run, 2-0. The Angels are ahead. And Chili Davis is up. And that's going to be a walk to Chili Davis. Sandy Alomar Jr. is the batter. And he's going to get, is he going to get a walk too? Yep. Yeah. The Angels have two guys on. They already have two runs in. And that's going to be strike three. So we are, no. I thought that was the third out. All right, so that's only two down. California would still with two men on. And, uh, and now we are up at the plate. Bottom of the first. We're already losing 2 nothing. We're going to swing away with Lance Johnson. He is starting to get tired too, but I mean, I can't sit everybody. So, And did he get a base hit? Yep. There's a single for Lance Johnson. So we got a man aboard and Ryan Malonia. Hoping that he can uh, get something going. And he's out. So that is going to be, uh, that was a double play. And now we got Big Frank up at the plate. Three and two count. And did he get a base hit? He, no. So we're back in the field, top of the second. Losing two nothing. Danny Maldonado is up and he is going to be out. One down and Danny Landon. The third baseman for them is up, and he is going to look like he gets, um, no, no, it's an out. So there's two down quickly for California here in the second. I wish the first had gone like this. And that is going to be a base hit. And uh, Martinez is aboard with Jim Edmonds up. And Jim, Jim Edmonds got on the first time. He's been getting on a lot this series. And, uh, and he is. On safely and now the Angels have runners at the corners with two down and that uh, looks like we walked Sorrento so Chili Davis is up with the bases juiced and that's going to be an out and so we get out of that inning unscathed, although it wasn't a good inning. And it's 2-0 uh, still, bottom of the second. We got Franco up. Julio Franco. And uh, it drops in, base hit for Franco. Franco and Ventura up at the plate. Franco at second. And did that get a... No. So there's one down. Franco at second. And Jackson up. Darren Jackson. And Franco looks like took third on that. So... And there was a walk to Jackson. So we got runners at the corners. One out and Nunnally up. Nunnally flashing a little bit of power lately. And he, did he get a base hit? Yeah. Nice. So it's two to one and Felix Fermin up playing shortstop for us today. 
and that's a wild pitch. So a run, the tying run scores, and Vermeen is still up at the plate. Hitting 270 on the year. And did he knock the run home? Yes. So we take the lead. There's two outs, but we take the lead, and Weaver, who is in replacing the tired Karkovice, the dogged Karkovice, is up and... That is going to be it. So we go to the top of the third inning. California up in the top of the third. And we are now leading 3-2. to two. Now i got to think about maybe getting Beret out of there. Although he has pitched. Well, he pitched his way out of a jam in the second. And, uh, and he gave up a two-run home run in the first. But... Without that home run, well, and, uh, I, I don't want to say that. A run still probably would have scored. So Disarcina works his way on with a single, and Maldonado is up. And he walks Maldonado. So now the, the Angels have two on, two down, and a hit back to the, uh, back to the box. And that is going to be the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the third inning here. And you can see up here our, our win probability is 67.4%. I'm playing um, out of the park, um, out of the park 22 because I did not get, tw I did not get 20, um, 23 and I have not gotten 24 nor do I plan to. I'm going to wait a few, like a few years between getting them because for one thing, I like to play the older seasons like this anyway. And, you know, I mean, the computer is going to generate whatever the computer is going to generate for all of those. As we go to the top of the fourth, still leading three to two. Um, you know, as far as um, players that the game makes up and players that they trade, it's all, you know, baked into the computer how it does it but it would use the same relative um, means to do that I think regardless of what uh, which version you're talking about and uh, and the, the Angels got two guys on here with two down and um And I, uh, so I'm, I'm going to use 22 for a while. Maybe I'll buy it next year. So we got out of the inning. We're still ahead three to two, and we're in the bottom of the fourth. Um, and we, we've got Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. Up. So I plan to use 22 for the foreseeable future. Um, like I said, maybe I'll get 25 next year when 25 comes out. There is two down quickly, and, uh, and Darren Jackson is the batter. Uh, but I really like the game. I love the game. Uh, I just don't see... From year to year, I, it doesn't seem to me like they make that many changes. And also, the way I'm playing the game is that I'm the manager of the White Sox. I'm not the general manager. I don't make any of the deals for the teams. And I think it seems to me like a lot of the changes that they make year to year concern, um, like, if you're the general manager. So, uh, for me, it just doesn't make sense to keep buying it every year. And certainly, uh, buying, um, buying 24 you know, for like $40 when I've got this one and it, you know, and it plays fine and the, the differences in the looks, like, you know, how the field looks, regardless of which version you do or how, what the look that you get for, um, you know, the, the game, you know, the game view, it doesn't really change that much, so... Uh, we have two outs quickly here in the bottom of the fifth, but we're still leading three to two. And Weaver, did he get aboard? No. So we're back in the field here, top of the sixth. Uh, you got to think uh, Beret is at 83 pitches, so you got to think he's probably getting tired. 
and that oh, he made the running catch so yeah there's one down quickly and Landon is the is the batter what did he just do a double Landon hits a double so there Landon's aboard at second with Martinez up and one down and what is that nope tied at three tie game they tied it and Jim Edmonds is the batter and he walks Edmonds and so now there's two on with one out um, I'm gonna try to get Beret through this inning which is probably not a great idea nope RBI single. He's probably falling apart here. Yeah, he's really falling apart. Well, now I might as well just get him through the inning because, I mean, I, I need to preserve the bullpen for other games. Uh, there's two down now, but that doesn't do me a lot of good with us losing the game by as much as we are. And Curtis is aboard, still only two out. And uh, another base hit. So I'm just hoping to get him. Yeah, he's, he's, it says he's already tired and, you know. Ah, God. I gotta get him through the inning now because I mean, we've already, I think we've already lost this game. Um, all right, now we're up, but we're up, we're down, we're down eight three though. I will get somebody up in the bullpen. Put myself over here momentarily, and we will get um, Donnie Elliott up. And then we'll go back to the game action. Put myself here. And swing away. But I don't see us getting five runs. That's one out. And uh, Ryan Maloney is up. The offense hasn't been... I'm getting the impression the offense hasn't been as good for us as it was in our 94 season. So we, Thomas walked and he's aboard with Franco. We'd like to think we could get something going here. And there's a single. So we got two runners on, but two down with Robin Ventura up. 302 hitter with runners in scoring position. And does he do it there? No. So we are going to go to the bullpen right now and, and bring in. We're going to bring in Elliot. No. Okay, so return to game. I'm going to put Elliot in the game. We'll see what this does for us. But, I mean, it's not really up to him now. It's more our offense and trying to get the, uh, get the runs that we need. Martinez is the batter. Um, and he's out. One down quickly here in the seventh. I'm going to try to get Elliot through the rest of the game so that I can preserve the bullpen as much as possible for other games. Yeah, that looks like that was something bad. Yeah, it was a two-run home run. Bad. So it's 10-3. And that's another base hit. And this guy is fresh. I mean, not really pitching very well we won the last game it was, a, it was a pretty close score I think we won the last game against California 43 and Jackson is up 
did he, uh, yeah, it's 10 to 4. And this is Nunnally. One out here in the uh, seventh inning. And there's two down now with Weaver. Down by six, so not a good situation at all. And um, Lance Johnson is up. Weaver got him, got his, worked his way on board. And we go to the top of the eighth. We are losing 10-4. Out number one, so there's one down quickly. And Disarcina up against Elliott. And what is that? That's an out, so there's two down. And Danny Maldonado. And uh, I'm going to be a little slow with the uh, narration here because this is this I only recently started doing the the game cast view or classic webcast, I guess, view. Um, but I like it. It's just you know I'm not used to it like I was when I was doing the. Uh, if you if you go back and you watch any of my past White Sox games in this series you'll see that I did the the uh, 3D view of the uh, the game action on the field and I do like that too but um, this is this is just something I'm trying different Franco up with Thomas aboard at second bottom of the eighth and we're down by six and he strikes out so now you got Ventura up Last year, we had a great offense. I mean, our team was just an offensive juggernaut last year. But it doesn't seem to be the case this year, as evidenced by the record, the worst record, and a much worse record than what we had last year. And Elliott here is pitching in the top of the ninth. Down by six. Strike three. And it says he's tired, and Edmonds is aboard. I'm still going to try to work him through this inning because, yeah. Um, there's two down. And, I mean, the game is lost. I'm not going to burn anybody up or, you know, tire them out. So we have Danny Jackson, or Darren Jackson, up uh, with, at the start, of the, the beginning of the bottom of the ninth for us. Strike three. And he strikes out. That brings up Nunnally. And Nunnally gets a base hit. He's aboard for Mean is the batter. And that's going to be a single. So we got two on. Three-run homer here, and it's 10-7. Uh, and that is going to be a double play, and the game is over. So now I'm going to minimize myself a little bit so that we can take a look at uh, this menagerie here. <laughs> so th here's the uh, box score. For California and for us, for the batters. And uh, you can see we've still got some really high performing players. Franco is hitting 278. Thomas is hitting 350. Um, and Ventura has 23 home runs. Thomas has 35. Nunnally has 16 home runs and is hitting 278. But it's nothing like the offense we had in 94. And then Beret, you see Beret just getting his, getting his head beat in for that game against California, raises his ERA to 561. Anderson had a six, he has a 677 earned run average. We couldn't beat up on him, though. So we're going to leave the game, and now you can see we are... 14 back. We lost a game on the uh, Indians, and we are 62 and 57, 
and 14 games out. And uh, we're going to finish today. Let's see if that changes. It doesn't. So we'll have more games against the Angels. I'll take a let's just take a look at the schedule here, team schedule. And yeah, we're right here. We're we're going into the last game against California, and then we're gonna have four against Texas. Again, Texas leading the West, but with a losing record. And then we'll play Detroit for three, Toronto for four, and Detroit for three, and that will finish out our August. So, of course, I'm going to, uh, from time to time, keep putting games up on the site for you guys to watch, for your enjoyment. And uh, if you're a White Sox fan, you didn't enjoy this one. If you're an Angels fan, you did. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.